So what do you think happens down here in Spooksville? Oh, can I pick that up? It's on fire on top. Actually, it appears I can't. Okay. What about you? No direct reaction. Oh, there's a little rock here. Can I pick you up? Oh, no. <laughs> it's just one piece of the pile kind of sticking out. Yeah, I kind of figured I wouldn't be able to pick up a weird flaming tiki when, uh... It burned me. Bye, pirate man! Thankfully, I can do this, just in case. I don't know, it was still spinning, I figured it would wear off. You wanna, you wanna be friends, man? I feel like we're gonna be friends. Let's put you down real quick. Oh, what's up here? Oh, stuff's up here. Huh. I seem to be stuck here. Not the elegant sortie I was hoping for. Perhaps you can find a way forth, little one. Can I pick you up? Nope. Well, I tried. So I could just I could probably just pick him up and take him along. Yay! Unless he's too heavy. That's reasonable concern, although I picked up very heavy things already. Seemingly without problem. Oh. Great work up there. My thanks. Come back. Friends! Let's be friends! I have two more character slots to fill. <laughs> Another predicament. This seems a bit much for either of us to handle. Perhaps it would be best if we could work together. The pirates will not want me back, and I am free to do as I please. I, Alphonse, would be honored to join your crew if you would accept me. Oh, that was easy. Well, you do seem more friendly than the other pirates. And I have a feeling that the other guy would have attacked us earlier if it wasn't for you. What do you think, Otis? Smiley Otis. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll take our chances with you, Alphonse. Just don't get too surprised when you get teleported around. Oh, up, oh, startling. Okay, hello menu. I was right. <laughs> Alphonse, a gallant and friendly former pirate, loves theater and poetry. Alphonse's shotgun shoots a fire blast that burns trees and damages enemies. It needs to cool down after use. Okay, so this is he's got a rapid fire shot, he's got a shotgun blast, which apparently Well, I'm presumably it's gonna take out this thing, otherwise why would he be in our party right now? Oh, local, local ranged attack, okay. There we go. <laughs> you can kind of just stick it out there and be like, eh, eh. <laughs> That's amusing. And then if I wait long enough, when well, now that it's full, I can shoot again. So it actually has to recharge for a very long time. Or at least long, pretty long for by any, uh, combat character standards in video games, really. For their primary attack. Die! No real reason to do that. Just enjoying my new toy. Here's the question, how to change character? Oh... Hang on a second. So... Why is teleport still? Looks like left bumper changes characters? There we go. So I can rapidly switch to him for rapid fire shots, then bring him in when I need him. Okay. That makes more sense. Because obviously the slow moving shotgun is not the most effective way of dealing with some problems. Oh look at that, you can still see his, his recharge on the screen. Even when he's not in the party right now. So whether he's on the screen or not, he shows up there. Oh, and the, the top left turns into a character select screen when I change characters. So I can tell which one I have. Which will make more sense when there more sense when there's more than two characters. The uh, character screen seems to suggest that there's three. I don't know if that's three total for the entire game. Or if it's three... Uh... Hello. I don't know yet whether it's three for the entire game or just three uh, that can be taken with you at a time. Like maybe you can swap out characters. Bye. Actually, can I look? Oh, okay, never mind. Just thought I'd check to see whether or not you can change characters mid, th mid thing. I kind of wish you could, honestly. It'd be really cool if you could leave characters around for the purpose of, uh, is he ha oh, he's heavy enough to press the button. It would be cool if the characters, uh, could be left and they would, like, shoot at stuff that's nearby. 
because that would open up the game to the possibility of having multiple characters and using like sort of str strategic stuff in some combat scenarios. But more more particularly though, I like I would like the idea to have uh, multiple characters you can teleport around with and place at once because it would lead to more complicated puzzles potentially. They could still be complex, just not there. There just won't be things where I leave multiple characters around. I suppose the exact same concept though could be explored just by having me pick up a bunch of heavy objects and drop them on buttons instead of characters. So I guess no real loss. Burn everything. But here we go. So they want me to get used to the fact that there's a... I can still flame while not using a shot. Because right there they've made it so that there was multiple in a row I'd have to get through. There's some... There's really... Like, there's there's really clever level design going on throughout this this game so far. It's really clever at, go, at dealing with... Uh, dealing with gameplay mechanics in a way that doesn't have to constantly explain everything to you for prolonged amount of times. I love that you can just hold it down. Oh, this is the bulb we saw before. Oh yeah, this is the whole area we saw before. Ow. Right, I take care of the water. You were your fire salamanders. I made the brief mistake of thinking I could somehow deal with it using the uh, fire guy. Did I drop you in there? Oh. I was gonna say, that's kind of alarming. I, do I throw you in there? I'm noticing that when you throw characters, they don't really have the same throw arc. Am I not supposed to attack you? Maybe not, it's just kind of here. Just a quick double check. There is a button here suggesting that there's a place to go, right? Oopsie. Flame that little spot? No. There's definitely something hitting, uh, hidden up there. Although it could be a wraparound path that over time you unlock by checking out other locations. Or maybe I just need to burn more of his stuff. I don't know. I think I've seen purple stuff before, so I probably just have to backtrack and deal with that. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay. Sorry, I briefly thought that maybe I would just wander by and not fight them all. I was mistaken, because pain. There we go. I wonder if, they're, if I'm missing something with the Weeping Bell monster that I need to pick up on. Uh, were we here before? This seems from Yeah, this is familiar. Is there anything hidden down here? I think I already did everything down here, too. Oh, mistakes were made. Hurt myself more than I should. Here we are. That'll clear some stuff out. Can I burn this tree like a monster? Cannot. I cannot. <laughs> There we go. All set. Yeah, this, uh, as someone who likes exploration quite a bit, and it, uh, <laughs> high-quality pixel art is certainly not, not lost on me, uh, I actually might end up liking this game more than Shadow, I mean, uh, Shovel Knight by the time I finish it. Although Shovel Knight does have the advantage of seemingly adding a bunch of additional campaigns for free over time. I think a lot- I think a decent number of people came away thinking that the Plague of Shadows, uh, campaign with Plague Knight was- was actually higher quality than the original Shovel Knight campaign. It certainly had some interesting changes. So I, I'm open to the idea that- well, well, and I, I love Shovel Knight anyway, so it's not really that, bi that big of a deal. But, uh, I would- I would not be uh, completely un unsurprised if a new campaign came out again that completely changed how I process Shovel Knight in a way that- there we go. Alright, shotgun blast is not quite working out. Gotta deal with this. Alright, it's time to get used to switching characters. Because obviously the shotgun is not always super useful for combat. When rapid fire enemies are all coming in at once. But yeah, I would not be uh, unsurpri- I would not be unsurprised if a new character came in for sho Shovel Knight that completely recontextualizes how to play it again. Hi there. Boss fight? Yes, no? I imagine boss fight because you kind of locked me in here. Those are some surprisingly rapid fire boss fights, though, if, if one's already happening again. There we go. Oh, there it is. Hi! Oh. Never mind. Not so much about not so much a boss fight. Is this the same chamber we did before where I was getting swarmed? There was that time I messed with the uh, the nest and got attacked. Really? 
Really? Huh. Okay. Can I drop a heavy guy on that? Eh. Worth a shot. I thought that was going to be a boss fight. Huh. Just an ambush of sorts. Hey guys, look! I think... That's the entrance to the control room. Control room. Yeah. Our plan was to stop you... I mean... Our plan was to stop the wind machinery so the temple would block your fleet's path. Path. It's the only way we can stop the pirates from reaching Advent. This is the type of plan reveal that I feel like would really get us in trouble <laughs> if he's actually just, uh, like, messing with us right now. Are... Are you with us on this, Alphonse? Huh. Leaving the pirates is one thing. Getting on their bad side is another. Oh, this is probably his dialogue, isn't it? <laughs> uh, leaving the pirates is is one thing. Getting on their bad side is another. Gotta read those little divots better. The pirates are threatening to attack Advent. If you won't help us, why even bother abandoning the pirates? You left because of your pride? Are you proud of doing nothing? I was so sure you claimed to be noble, Alphonse. I... I have decided. I will aid you. It is true that the pirates have gone too far lately. As you say, I cannot simply stand by and watch. If Captain Molstrom truly aims to attack Advent, we must stop it in any way we can. I, Alphonse, would be proud to join your ranks. I knew we could count on you, Alphonse! Right, Otis? Now, let's go! We gotta get to the control room! <laughs> what can go wrong? Boss fight? Boss fight? This looks like a- yeah, probably, right? No? Oh, they let me through. Surprise. Listen, I really like boss fights. <laughs> If I ever see a sign that it might be a boss fight, I'm immediately thinking, ooh, boss fight. Boss fight? <laughs> yes? No. Maybe I'll activate the control room and it'll turn on and attack me. I don't know. Oh! Um, Otis? What was that? Okay, not on the list. Not on the list of things I thought that might do. Uh, get slowed down by stuff. Cool. Uh, oh right, 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 right. Uh, 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 uh. Gotta remember to gotta remember to roll. Uh, <laughs> rolling. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is alarming. Oh crap. Uh No! No! <laughs> I wasn't ready for this, okay. You made you successfully made this encounter desperate. Oh my. Guys, stand back! Ah! Master Otis, Master Getty. Alphonse, are we dead? I think you can open your eyes. Ah! <laughs> what happened to it? It just froze in place. I don't think the water did it any good. Is this another relic left here by the owls? Huh. I wonder. Um, Master Getty, well, what are you doing? 
Okay, yeah, bad idea. Let's move, guys, before it does. <laughs> he tried to hit it with the hammer like the last relic we found, which he also said bad idea then, so, you know, not the best idea. That was fun. That was both a cool... That was good level design in that it was already... It was using a bunch of mechanics already introduced and throwing them at you in a way that's intuitive but still surprising. And also... It used multiple signposts to make you think you're going to do a boss fight. And then it subverted that expectation by not doing a boss fight. Then it made you think, like, or at least made me think that, oh, well, maybe we're going to a control room. Maybe when I activate the controls, when I come back, I'll turn into a boss fight. And then it turns into a chase sequence, something that has not been established to be in the game yet, so it can surprise you. But it's an intuitive enough sequence of run away from bad thing that doesn't have to be introduced in advance, because you just know to run away from bad thing when it's trying to kill you. But And then all the mechanics thrown at you during that chase were intuitive, but rapid fire to make it feel manic. And I constantly felt like I was getting blindsided and about to be killed, but I kept making it, which may or... I don't know if that was the game kind of letting you go, and actually being easier than it looked, or if, uh... Like, I don't know if it was, like, trying to cushion the fall whenever I screwed up, or if it was just because it was perfectly timed to be de just that desperate. Hey, over there! It's the control room, but... All this machinery... It looks like it's been broken for decades. But then... Shouldn't the temple be closed off? The professor said that this machine was blowing the islands apart. Could he have been wrong? We have to hurry up, guys. If we can't use this machine to slow the pirates down, they'll have, a, they'll have to clear a path to Advent. We might already be too late. Let's go. So the entire plan was failed. That's a bummer. Burn everything! Nothing's burning around here, actually. Even the stuff that sticks out a bit that was burnable before isn't burning. I wonder why that is. So the left and right ones are both blocked? Oh, the propellers. I didn't realize it at first, but these are all propellers. So it's a giant engine room that was supposed to push the entire area around? And probably blo block the path by literally pushing two islands together, for example? Huh. That's the only one with an open grate. What? Are you safe, Clouds? I'm semi-alarmed by Clouds. No, we're good. Oh, we're on the surface. This is pretty. Look at this. Now that is the correct time to zoom out. This is nice. Is there going to be another relic for us to lightly tap with a hammer and deface? <laughs> Oh. Hello. Welcome to Cloudvale. I don't I don't know what it's going to be called. Can I go off camera? Nope. I think I'm supposed to just keep going up with this part. Yep. There's a few dead ends on the camera, but they don't really do anything. Oh. We're getting dark here for a bit, aren't we? Come on, even that one looks like it, it'd work. Oh, no. Oh, I can even go through the clouds. The clouds mean nothing right now. Oh, that's not a good sign. It's like a shadow kingdom floating in the air. Londo, is that you? What's going on here? Uh, where is everyone? Alas, it has come to this. Alphonse? Listen, you two. I need to hide for now. You cannot be seen with me here. When the time comes, summon me with your teleporter, Otis. I must be off. What's he thinking? Let's go, Otis. We've got to check if Asio and the Professor made it in time. Oh no, are they going to be dead? I feel like something bad's going to happen here. The Advent Settlement. Oh. Oh, they're all dressed like him. Otis, don't just stand there, get inside. Hurry, you fool. Well, they're alive for now. Even Scaredy Cat's here, and, uh, Bulk and Skull. Move it! Hey! 
Lay off, Otis! Be quiet, Getty. You're both to blame for this. What? What for? You idiots! You were supposed to shut down the Owl Temple. Did you think we sent you out there to have fun? Oh, how I wish I could have sent someone competent instead. Ha hey, now! There was nothing to shut down! The control room was broken. The Owl Temple has been shut down for years. The wind machinery was never active. Don't be ridiculous. We're all familiar with you and your o and Otis's slackery. Your actions are inexcusable, Otis. You bring shame on towels everywhere. And most of all, you bring shame upon me. This is quite enough, Asio. Rather than blow up on this child, you should get to work defending Advent. Strix, will you stop the silliness? Absolutely, Colonel. Or Colonel, I guess, because the the way it was spelled. Asio, we don't have time for this. As a fellow owl, you should know better. The entirety of Captain Malstrom's feet is raining down fire upon Advent. My students and I plan to carry supplies to the turret gunners and do repairs. It will be dangerous, but it's the least we can do. Is there no way to strike back at the pirates? I'm afraid not. Our only recourse is our turrets. The pirate dreadnoughts are too heavily fortified to assault on our, with our own ships. We can only hope that our turret fire will ward them off. Oh. Oh. Their names are Fibonacci. Are they about to start a sequence? Is that was? Oh my god. I didn't even register that before. <laughs> Bonacci. Fib. <laughs> God damn it. it's like when it's like when you find out the knows that the characters are named that uh Mega Man's friends are named Bass and Treble or something. Uh or which whichever version that was. But actually, Fib, let's let's uh go help the turret gunners. You and your students should do the same, Asio. If you can. Solus, you keep guard here. So sh shouldn't we evacuate? No. We have to hold Advent. Stay here. Y yeah I'm off to help too. And now the now the room ran out of books. Oh no, we have a library in the corner. We're fine. Otis, you have caused enough harm. You will stay in here. I will lock the door behind me as I go to help the others. You are not fit to help the others protect the city. Ah. You're a terrible mentor. <laughs> Cornell, Solus, please see to it that these two do not do anything stupid while I am away. Oh, Otis. Oh. <laughs> that stuck up old fool. Don't look so down, laddie. If if you made a mistake, you'll make it right in time. Take Asio and the professor, for instance. They've made plenty of mistakes. Only reason they're able to act old high and mighty now is because they've worked hard to settle those mistakes right. Listen, lady. We didn't do anything wrong. We defeated a giant mechanical frog guardian to get to the control room, but when we got there, it was already broken. Like we said, the machinery wasn't on in the first place. Really? Yeah. That's very interesting. It's been thought that the old uh, the Owl Temple was responsible for the islands drifting apart from each other. If the temple isn't causing it, then I wonder what is. I'll have to look into this matter. Where are my manners? My name is Cornell. I research biology and teach the children at the school. And I make rockets and bombs for fun. Um... Pleased to meet you, Cornell. I'm Getty. This is Otis. We're best buds. I tend to speak for him since he's a mute. Well, pleased to meet you both. Well, they seem nice. And they say laddie, which is always charming, I guess. And they're not immediately being terrible to me, so that's just incredibly charming, honestly. <laughs> uh, hey! Uh, I'm not sure... I'm sure you don't want to talk right now, but... I want you to know that I believe in you. 
You don't seem like the type to lie, Otis. I guess we've both been dumped in here. I I, uh, I hope this all blows over. And not up? You mean, you mean blows over and not blows up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.